residential project Shumi Center. Two N was founded in Czech Republic. Prague remains the global headquarters with teams now in eight other countries. USA, United Kingdom, Germany, Italy, France, United Arab Emirates and Australia and an extensive distribution network throughout the rest of the world. 2N specializes in the residential sector and has products which are Bluetooth, smartphone and tablet enabled. From 2N Telecommunications, Mr. Pavel Gregorczyk, Area Account Manager. Mr. Pavel, welcome. Thank you very much. I hope you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you. You can share your presentation with us. Of course. Just give me a sec. Please let me know if you can see it already. Yes, we can see everything's fine. All right, thank you again. Uh, so can I start now? Yes, you can start. So uh, hello to everyone. Uh, just a short introduction. Uh, my name is Pavel. I'm an area account manager for uh, Twin Telecommunication. Uh, my region is ba basically the entire Balkan region together with the Hungary. I'm also responsible for Polish market. And what we do at Tuan, we specialize in intercom and access control solutions. It is all IP based. And this is what I'm going through. Uh, very shortly, my agenda is going to have only three points, basically introduction, solution and the project, which I'm going to focus mostly on. And just uh, briefly about our company. As you already heard, uh, we are based in uh, Czech Republic. This is where our headquarters is. Uh, 2N has, uh, is growing actually year by year by 20 to 25 percent. Uh, of course, uh, with the exception when the pandemic strike, uh, although we still grew not that high though, uh, the last year revenue was uh, around 65 million euros, uh, which for this size of the company is a great result uh, in, in what we think. Uh, we've got almost 400 employees at the moment, and we are, uh, as of uh, 2016, uh, uh, part of Axis Group, uh, which belongs to Canon Group. And uh, <clears throat> Tuan has been uh, a player on the market for over 30 years. Uh, the company was established in 1991. And uh, right now uh, we are dealing with the intercoms, although we have started with GSM gateways. Uh, so uh, briefly uh, about, uh, about our solution, because uh, when I get to the project, I just want you to know uh, more or less uh, what we have uh, provided in advance. So uh, very shortly, our portfolio, when it comes to the intercoms, uh, the first one we've got uh, IP style, it is uh, our flagship at the moment, it's been released just a few months before uh, with the five megapixel camera, uh, touch, uh, touch display, 10 inch, uh, access control included, uh, phone book, uh, basically anything that uh, is needed of from, from the intercom. Uh, if uh, our customer needs uh, any sort of uh, modular solution. So we've got the second intercom, which is called IP Verso. And what it does, uh, it basically allows uh, the customer to choose his own uh, solution for him. Because, uh, because, because of the modularity, uh, you can just choose uh, whichever access control uh, you need uh, inside you want to add there. So whether it's a fingerprint reader, it can be RFID, it can be a pin code or the uh, touch keypad, whichever the customer prefers. Uh, also a solution for retrofits, which is a big deal at the moment, since Tuan is really focusing on the residential and commercial market, we have developed uh, LTE Verso. So there is no cable cabling needed. This is, uh, works basically like a mobile phone. You just need to insert the SIM card inside and of course, some uh, power uh, just to, to power it up. Uh, we also support the uh, offer compact design with a smaller version, which is IP solo. It's basically very simple, one button with a camera, nothing, uh, nothing more to this. Uh, <clears throat> briefly to, to uh, three other intercoms, uh, where we usually sell in is uh, industry and logistics. 
this is IP force and IP safety. Uh, it is mostly because of their durability. I mean, uh, both intercoms have a uh, rating uh, IP69 six, six, and also uh, IK10. So uh, very resistant to, to, to any damage, uh, water, dust. Uh, also, what we offer, of course, because of the residential market, which is our priority, are the answering panels. And uh, for this project uh, that I'm going to be discussing in a moment, we have used uh, our panel, which is called Indoor View. And I'm going to be explaining some uh, functionalities later on. In general, uh, on the right side, you can see the uh, advantages of going with TWAN. I mean, all the intercoms that I have just mentioned, to, together with the answering units, they have a built-in web interface, uh, and it's all the same platform throughout the, our entire portfolio. So uh, if you know how to configure one of them, you will know how to configure the rest. Uh, they have the same firmware, uh, which, is, uh, which gets uh, free updates, uh, basically once in a quarter. Uh, with, this is what we try to do, depending on the, on the uh, situation. Uh, one of the key points what we offer is that the solution is serverless. So you don't need any additional server unless you won't need some PBX to, to uh, additional uh, extra calls. But other than this, uh, it just goes directly through the, through, from the intercom to our answering unit. The only need, thing you need is a POE switch. And <clears throat> it is basically what is needed is one cable to, to make it work. You don't need any additional uh, cable, for example, if the intercom has a camera included. Uh, just one PoE cable uh, is enough to, to run it. So uh, let me just move to the project. This is our uh, success story. Uh, as it was mentioned at the beginning, the project is called Shumi Center. It is a multi-dwelling building, as we call it, so residential uh, multi-apartment building, in other words. It is in uh, Ljubljana, uh, in Slovenia, and uh, the requirement for this project, I mean, this is one of the biggest and the most luxurious, if not most luxurious at the moment, uh, MDU uh, in, the, in the country. So the requirement was uh, basically to have the secure entrance uh, using the intercoms, and also uh, because of the of the uh, price of the apartment, uh, the tenants wanted to have not just the fixed uh, panels that they could answer the call and talk to the visitors, but also they would like to have it uh, in a mobile version. So this is what we had to come up with. Uh, well, the challenge here was that uh, <clears throat> for such a big project, for such a big installation, uh, there is a need to manage all the devices. I mean, it's uh, really not easy with, with so many so many things. Additionally, when we take under consideration that there are also uh, different uh, systems installed, right? I mean, there is fire and detection, there is a camera system, there can be some VMS, maybe additional access control uh, for uh, some of the uh, apartments units. Uh, that, that was something that we had to face. They needed a future-proof solution uh, because uh, for uh, this value of the investment, uh, it cannot happen that uh, we offer something and in a couple of months or, or a year even, it starts to break down. It had to be uh, something really, really uh, reliable. The uh, solution that we have offered was uh, something that I have just showed, the uh, combination of our intercoms and access control, also with the uh, software to manage everything plus uh, the uh, solution to offer uh, the answering the calls on their phone. Uh, when we look at the uh, intercoms that we have offered, we have chosen IPverso. Uh, as I told you at the beginning, our flagship right now is IP style. This is the newest intercoms. However, it was re uh, released uh, just recently. So it wasn't even on the quotation, the prices for this, uh, for this project. As for IPverso, uh, the investor decided to go with this solution, mostly because of the modular, uh, modularity of this intercom, because uh, it was installed, uh, there were over 100 units installed in the entire building. And what the tenants uh, required is a different method of access to, to their apartment. 
So uh, there was an intercom in front of every door uh, in the building. And uh, some of the people, they just wanted to use their card. Some of them just wanted to use their phone, NFC uh, technology. Some of them uh, just wanted to, to have the pin code in their heads using the keypad. And some of them that uh, what we were actually uh, really uh, pushing forward was uh, Bluetooth technology as well. So they can just use their phone. Uh, they don't have to touch the unit. They can just do it uh, from, the, from their application on their phone and uh, just to open the door. Everything works perfectly so far. Uh, the uh, intercom uh, includes the camera. So you can, and when somebody's calling, you can of course not just uh, talk to the person, but you can also see the person. Uh, in the front of the entrance, in front of the, uh, there were actually four entrances uh, to, to, to the building. And uh, we have uh, um, added the module, which is called Touch Display. And uh, this is the module that includes uh, not just the uh, possibility to call the tenant, open the door with a pin code, but uh, it also has a phone book in it. So you can basically use it to, to uh, find apartment or find the uh, specific person you would like to call if you don't have this information beforehand. Last but not least, uh, this is something that I have already mentioned. <clears throat> Depending on the requirement of the customer, of the tenants, uh, there was different access control units, what we call modules for this unit uh, installed. So everything was tailored made to just to satisfy those customers' needs. And as you can see, uh, then we had to find a way for the answering panels. There were uh, 106 uh, apartments to be exact. So uh, with over 100 units, uh, we had to come up with a, with a solution to not only <clears throat> provide the, the communication with the, with the unit, but also in case of uh, something happening with the network to, to, to make it work as well. So uh, the unit that we have uh, is interview, which, uh, allows the tenants to talk with a visitor with using audio video communication. They can see the person even before answering the call, they can already see the preview of the, of the, from the camera of the intercom to see who's standing in front. And uh, what made the customer, the investor to go with 2N is basically in case of something happened with the network, uh, we have the possibility to use the, our cloud solution. So basically the intercom would call through the cloud to the unit itself. And uh, uh, even though uh, two years ago and even one and a half year ago, this was something that was based on the subscription. So it was not free. Uh, just a couple of months before the, the, the project was uh, decided, uh, we have also made the decision that the, the communication even through the cloud, which, we, which is on Amazon and which we basically also have to pay for just to maintain it, we have decided to, to, to do it for free. So the, the backup solution as we, we could call it uh, is uh, free of charge uh, totally from one to an unit to another, from the intercom to the answering panel, you don't have to pay anything. And uh, what was really uh, another selling point is that uh, with the camera system included inside the, the, uh, the building, the object itself, uh, they also had the uh, cameras installed. So there were uh, four entrances and you could see the preview from different cameras uh, on this unit as well. And just the luxurious design helped with the general aesthetic of this uh, project. And one other thing that was required was the lift communication, which this unit can also include because we as to end, uh, we also deal with the communication for the elevators. Uh, another thing that uh, was challenging was uh, the tenants didn't, they, they, it's not gonna happen ever that everyone is an apartment. So they need to, to, to answer the call remotely when they are abroad, when they are either working or they are doing something else. 
So this is where we come with the solution, which we called mobile video, which basically translates to uh, answering a call from the intercom on your mobile device. Uh, the functionality is very similar to the answering panel that I was discussing. So not only audio video communication, but also the uh, audio video preview before you answer, answer the call from the touch on your, of your phone, uh, which you can actually see on the picture here. Uh, there are a couple of icons. So basically answering, uh, ending the call, opening the door, and um, even taking a screenshot or a picture of the person that you are talking to at the moment. And uh, <clears throat> this solution uh, we have offered was something uh, really what they needed, not just because uh, of uh, possibility of, of flexibility of the solution itself, but uh, the solution really, really works. I mean, the only thing uh, that you need it to work is the uh, connection to the internet. So of course, sometimes it may happen that uh, you are not able to receive the call. It, in 99% of the cases, it is not the problem with the, with the solution itself, but with the uh, signal strength of the, of, the, of the internet connection. So uh, with, this, uh, with this solution, the, the uh, investor was actually quite satisfied. Uh, they've been using it. And uh, another selling point and maybe like a finishing point of what we have uh, decided to do through every answering panel, to every answering panel that we sell, like I was showing in the review just a moment ago, uh, we also add a, a subscription, like three years subscription for one mobile phone. You can also divide it to, uh, you, you can do with this subscription whatever you want. It doesn't have to be three years for one phone. It can be three phones for one year or six phones for half a year. It really depends on the tenant itself or the end customer, what they want to do with it. To every single unit, we have, uh, the, uh, we have uh, offered uh, this sort of additional value. And uh, <clears throat> even though uh, this uh, solution is, uh, seems great, it, was, uh, it is a paid service. So the mobile video uh, is uh, based on subscription. Of course, as I said, if you have an answering panel, the, uh, you've got this uh, three-year uh, subscription already in advance. But uh, after that, later on, uh, or any other phone that you would like to use, there is a price for it, uh, which uh, in the price sensitive market, it really doesn't work you know, to, 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 make a, to, make, to push a sale. Uh, what we did actually was uh, to explain that uh, mobile video, the calling to the mobile phone is only part of our cloud service that we provide. The most important thing, <clears throat> except of the mobile video is also remote configuration of all the units. So basically uh, in, uh, if there is any sort of emergency, any sort of issue, 90% of the cases uh, from our statistics is 89, I think, uh, we can solve remotely. So the integrators, they can save so much time and money uh, sending people just to, to fix some simple issue where they can do it, uh, when they can do it from the seats of their chair, basically without moving just to connect remotely on the web, through the web interface to the unit itself. Uh, it also works with the partner API, which is uh, our solution for different systems. When it comes, for example, to access control, if uh, any, system would like to have uh, one of our functionalities they would like to use like uh, mobile credentials uh, mobile video uh, they can do it through this partner api and it is uh, all included in this cloud services there is also something for the elevators but uh, i'm not going to get into into details of this one right now and uh, additionally <clears throat> with all the equipments that we have provided, there has to be a system that manages all. I mean, you cannot just have it you know, hundreds of units installed and not be able to have the one platform where you can do it. Uh, in our uh, case, in our solution, uh, we have a system uh, and the program called Access to an Access Commander. 
So as you can see on the picture, this is the, the newest version of the dashboard that we, we use. Of course, these widgets that are uh, shown there are totally configurable. So uh, you can have more cameras here. You can have uh, information about the visitors, about the, the users, about their cards or, uh, uh, or the event logs. So anything that you want uh, is there. The, what actually it does, what helps the most with the, using this access commander is it allows you to manage uh, the, our solution in a broader uh, spectrum. So if you have hundreds of units like we have in this project, nobody is gonna spend the time to put uh, and configure each unit separately uh, uh, through the web, web interface, for example. With this unit, you can make a configuration for one device, either it's an intercom or maybe a different one for the answering panel or the access unit. And then you can simply copy this, uh, the, the features that you have put there to all the other devices. So you have a, a unified solution at this point, basically. And uh, you can manage everything from it. You can have the cameras, you can have the, the, the access, automated workflows, log events. It uh, also, uh, uh, checks the the uh, whether the intercoms has uh, an issue working or maybe there is a no connection to the internet maybe something happened with the cables there is more a lot of other features uh, in, implemented in this uh, in this system uh, of course uh, this was really really great solution uh, for the for the from the investors point of view and uh, this, this, this was also included in the, in the project. Uh, very important thing that I would like to mention, and it, it was uh, important not only in this project, but in most of the big projects that we make, is the uh, interoperability, which means our in possibility to integrate with uh, other uh, systems. Because like we have in this project, uh, they have also used uh, a camera system. They have also used uh, fire protection or uh, some uh, emergency systems. And uh, we are compatible with uh, a broad spectrum of, of uh, the companies, whether it is uh, Elco through the SIP protocol access control. We have here Vegan, but right now we are coming also with OSDP. Uh, so it's gonna be uh, even, even better. Uh, when it comes to VMS, like we have Milestone, for example, we are all part of OnViv. Uh, and also when it comes to home automation, we use uh, HTTP commands uh, just, just uh, as we do, for example, with Crestron, Control4, Savant. And uh, those companies, let's say those brands that I put here, it's a tiny, tiny um, <clears throat> range of what we actually have. In, on our website, you can find basically any, any brand that you need to, to uh, connect to. If it is IP brand and it is not in our list, uh, it doesn't mean that we don't connect with them. It only means that we haven't tested it yet. So that's why we don't want to uh, put some information that it would work without first testing it. So there are new companies coming uh, basically uh, on a regular basis. The list is being updated, it's being longer. So with any project, for example, when it comes to, to those sort of uh, uh, solutions, we are compatible with. So you can, you can basically reach us with, with no problem. Uh, just, just if you want, if our solution is not included, at least you will get a really good information, you know, how the project could be done from our point of view. And uh, just to, to sum it up, uh, last slide, I just uh, posted some benefits in general, what you get when, when going with two end solution. It was also included, uh, uh, presented for the Shumi Center project and uh, the uh, standard three years warranty uh, is uh, what we offer. This is the bare minimum. It is expendable, so uh, you can, uh, extendable, you can basically get uh, additional two years as well. So up to uh, five years warranty, uh, serverless ar architecture. So this is for a uh, really good thing for the uh, smaller projects. So or price sensitive projects where uh, the, the, of course we are not the, the cheapest solution in the market. We value our uh, quality, reliability, 
and the, the price uh, is cannot be on the on the level of uh, other brands uh, from the from the from the lowest lowest price range and uh, but when it comes to the solution like uh, smaller smaller apartments or even single villas small houses uh, you don't have to use you don't have to pay extra one and a half thousand basically bare minimum or one thousand uh, euros additional for the server it is it goes directly from our uh, intercom unit to our ascending panels um, uh, less commission time pnp so basically this is what uh, we would call the the um, remote configuration i mean you could you could basically done everything remotely through the web interface uh, when it comes to the hardware and the update of the firmware, uh, all the updates are for free. Uh, basically, uh, you don't have to pay for any additional version of the of the for the hardware that you already have. And uh, for uh, the when it comes to the licenses for the hardware, for example, if you use one access unit and you want to add additional uh, three or four. You don't have to pay additional license just to install the unit there. So it is uh, with one license you have uh, you can you can install uh, basically uh, the the any number of units that you desire. Uh, we also really value our uh, our channel when it comes to the distribution to our integrators. Uh, in many countries, uh, we've got uh, our uh, partners. That have really big knowledge of uh, our solution, so they've got their, their own technical team, they've got their, their own pre-sales team, sales team, and uh, basically, it is really helpful when it comes to the language barrier because uh, with the with their level of knowledge, they can do basically what we can, but for, in, in in the local language, and uh, uh, there is only just a few minutes left, uh, so this is the end of my presentation. I really hope that uh, it gave you some ideas about the two solution about so what sort of project we could uh, we could help you with because we focus not just the residential but also commercial logistics. Uh, <laughs> I could only present one project here uh, just to to get a little bit into the details and didn't have time for anything else. So please, uh, if you have uh, any any questions, just uh, i'm I'm all ears, please ask me. Uh, Mr. Pavel, thank you. We have a few questions for you. Uh, but before that, uh, great presentation. We had chance to learn uh, more details about uh, residential project Shumi Center. Uh, my first question, uh, is there a possibility to restrict users from using all possibilities in IP Verso? Uh, can we assign one type of communication to a particular type of users? Uh, yes, uh, there will be some uh, possibility like this. Uh, basically, uh, I guess what you're asking, we, we mostly use uh, IP Verso as the uh, entrance intercom. So the tenants basically, or in the office, the investor chooses what sort of authentication method they would, they would like to use for the specific site. Uh, of course, the admin can uh, add rights or take away rights from the specific users. Uh, it is uh, mostly, the, the easiest way how to do it is through the platform that and our program that I uh, showed Access Commander. Uh, so uh, for each user, you can assign the, the rights, uh, uh, which uh, solution or the which authentication method he can use. Uh, also the time or the, the space, the rooms, for example, where he can go. So everything is very customizable, and uh, as admin, you can you can do it. Yes, yes, you can do it. Mr. Pavel, uh, my last question: uh, Is there a possibility for remote control of indoor intercoms? Uh, you mean uh, like controlling what exactly? Like what sort of control are we talking about? You mean just to, just to call the intercom remotely from any location, or just to check the the status of the intercom? I mean, this is what what we what we do. Uh, all intercoms are uh, uh, have their uh, web uh, web based platforms, so it is uh, 
very easy to, to reach out to them. Basically, what you do is put uh, in the URL address, the IP address of the intercom, and you can you get the platform, you get the, the uh, settings of the unit. Uh, you can get to it from anywhere in the world, basically, even from your mobile phone, it's not a problem. So any sort of control, as you call it, or I would call maybe uh, configuration settings or changes that you can make, yes, you can do it remotely with no issues. Um, Mr. Powell, that's all. Thank you once more for being with us today. Uh, thank you very much. It was my pleasure.